details of exactly how they did it in the program. Uh, what the, what the, uh, was that guy, uh, Al Billick? Al Billick. Uh, I'm trying to get in touch with that guy. Um, I can get in touch with uh, Mr. Billick. And uh, what I'm telling you, though, is we did a program with him in which he gave the exact technical details. The RF field and the electrical uh, field that they used, the intensities, the power, the whole thing. Yeah. And uh, you might want to get a copy of that program. It's the only... I, I, I'll, I'll tell you how to get that, all right? Or maybe I'll even have it sent to you. <laughs> on the east of the Rockies line, you're on the air with Michael Markham. Yeah, you got Ray from Fargo, Missouri. Hi, Ray. Yes, uh, my cousin just called me. He uh, called you from Leavenworth, Kansas. Oh, yes. Yes, he uh, didn't hear the answer to the question on the high voltage. And he was just wondering, uh, you know, he didn't hear the answer because he had to turn his radio off. And he called me and said he's only allowed one call night. That's a true statement. So uh, uh, he'd <laughs> like to hear that. And uh, Well, all right, rephrase the question then for us. Well, he, he, uh, I'm not sure exactly what he asked. He just said that he asked a question about the high voltage, something about where did he get the information for that. And I think that, uh, you know... Uh, uh, I've been listening, and it's amazing about the uh, the way that works, you know, and I'd like to hear the answer, and uh, if you would give me a few seconds to go and shut my radio off. All right, well, I'm not exactly sure how to respond to it. Do you remember the original question, Michael? Uh, Something about the high voltage? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. We went through it, and uh, Michael explained how he built the first uh, transformer. Yeah. And then how he obtained the following transformers. And uh, so I'm not sure exactly what. Like, uh, like how, like, um, like how to, like, uh, uh, how can I say this? Uh, like how I knew, uh, how to know, like how did I know how to make a Jacob's ladder or something well, like that? Do you have an original design of some kind, Michael? Uh, for a Jacob's ladder? Or yes. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, the Jacob's ladder in and of itself, just to make a Jacob's ladder, is pretty simple. So you knew you you just it was the scale of the thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. West of the Rockies, you're on the air with Michael Markham. Hi. Yes, this is Cliff from North Bend. Hi, Cliff. How are you doing, Art? Just fine. Hey, this gentleman, he's hey, he is really on the ball there. To me, is it? Well, see, he's either that or, according to a young lady who called, uh, he's like a terrorist, and uh, we're we're like helping him out, spreading the information. <laughs> <laughs> I admire him. It's like I wrote that. I'm about twice his uh, age. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Michael. What did you say? It's like, a, it's like a that one was like a as if I wrote the Anarchist Cookbook or something. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly right. The Anarchist Cookbook. Uh, any questions for him, sir? Yes, um, I would like to uh, exchange uh, some correspondence with him as I'm working with uh, Mark uh, on. Uh, I'm kind of trying to think of the last one, Hendershot. Uh, free uh, power, and, and it just a thought. It's crazy. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll... twice this guy's age. Why couldn't we uh, make it self-powered? All right, uh, all right. Uh, on that note, um, listen, um, Michael. Um, there are a number of people. A lot of them, actually, I'm sure, who would like to contact you. Yeah. Um, is there a way they could do that? Now, you be careful, because this is a big radio program, Michael, and there's a lot of people out there. Yeah. Uh, do you want to hear from anybody who would like to help you out or uh, oh, sure. correspond with you? Uh, how would they do that? Uh, well, let's You can see. either give out an address or a phone number. It's up to you. Well, hmm. I guess I don't, let's see. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah, uh, yeah, heck. I don't think they're all going to come at once, and like yes, 10,000 yeah. people come to my house at once. I don't think that's going to happen. Well, um, uh, I wouldn't rule it out. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be a heck of a sight. Uh, maybe rather than giving out um, your address, Michael, you'd like to think about giving out your phone number or not. Well, mm -hmm. it's already published in the phone book, so might as well. All right. What is what is your phone number, Michael? It's uh, 816 Two three two. Right. Four zero one nine. All right. Let me give it again. Eight one six two three two four zero one nine. All right. Uh, we've got just a little more time here. So um, on the wild card line, you're on the air with Michael Markham. Hey there, Michael. How's it going? I'm uh, pretty good. Yeah. This is Will in Spokane. 
the uh, original, uh, I think, uh, mad scientist when I was uh, probably about four years old. I incredible. Incredible uh, idea that you have. Um, what, what was your education? Uh, I was in a, about two years ago, I was, uh, uh, actually it was from November 91. Uh -huh. About a year and a half later, I was like major in electrical engineering. Oh, major. Jesus, you're only 21. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, I like graduated when I was 17. So what, what would you recommend to Michael? Would you say keep going uh, or stop now? I'd say uh, get in touch with me. That's what I'd say and continue on. All right. Well, you've got Michael's number. Actually, uh, I don't. All right. I'll give it to you now. You want it? Yeah, I do. Zero code uh, 816. 816, uh-huh. 232. 232, uh-huh. 4019. 4019, okay. My name's Will. And maybe I'll give you a call, huh? Okay. All right. Uh, there you have it. West of the Rockies, you're on the air with Michael Markham. Good morning. Well, good morning, Art. I think I'm going to go out and play the lotto now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I, I've really enjoyed this show. That, that woman that called in, a couple of the people, a couple of the naysayers that have called up, I'm going to have to say they're all but persistent. This has got to be the funnest show you've ever done. Anywhere from getting this guy after I heard the story initially last night on your show and then this morning, and then the uh, police officer calling up, Art. This has got to be the greatest show uh, that I have heard in a long time. I want to know, though, is, uh, Mike, are you going to be publishing? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Brian and Buck? Yeah. Uh, a book or, you know, some sort of... Uh, uh, just a technical manual or something like that, you know, or, well, theory manual. All right, there you go. Uh, well, it's, uh, heck, there's, uh, if I, I mean, there's all sorts of books out there, like, on this subject, but, so, I don't know. That's, like, remains to be seen. Maybe if you, uh, on a larger scale, get to try the experiment. Yeah, it's like, a yeah, it's another thing, too. If, if, I, if I get this thing in it, it, uh, and uh, it actually, like, it actually works. Uh, heck, there's always, I mean, heck, I could write a book, do a movie, and do all kinds of stuff then. And hopefully tell us uh, whether it was uh, a lone gunman or not. Yeah. That's <laughs> another thing I'd like to do, too. Uh, is really, uh, this may sound like a joke, but heck, I'd like to go back to you really killing Nicole, Nicole Simpson, but that's another thing. <laughs> Well, I guess that would be a laudable use of it, and uh, maybe yeah. maybe we could cut this whole tr damn trial thing short, uh, Michael. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, um, hold on just a moment. We'll be right back to you. All right, Michael, I, I would like your reaction to this. Uh, Art, thanks so much. I've really been tiring of hearing all the crap that's going on in the world, the dollar-yen crisis, the Iran Russia, China, nuclear crisis, everything in the U.S. is in crisis, the O.J. crisis. It's refreshing not to have to listen to any of it at 11 o'clock tonight. No, instead you've chosen to share with all of us someone near Kansas City, my hometown, who is either truly on the cutting edge or merely yet another deranged madman. I frankly don't care if he is. It's just so nice to hear the tale of somebody's courage and following their intuition and going for their dream. Thank you, Waldo and Tehachapi. There you are. You're not a deranged madman, are you, Michael? No. No? Um, you would... How would you describe yourself? Uh, well, other than my strange experiments, uh, basically, just like anybody else. Well, I don't know... Well, I don't know about it, just like anybody else. Well, so. that's the way I see myself. I mean, uh... To you, you're normal. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, east of the Rockies, you're on the air with uh, Michael Markham. Yeah, I was interested in uh, talking to Mike about possibly publishing, uh, as in one of your last callers said, publishing information. I am a computer junkie, basically. My uh -huh. name is David. I'm from Houston. So you'd like to interview him? Uh, well, what I'd like is, if he ever does go to the whole publishing stage, is to see if I could get him to send me the information on, you know, what the outcome is. Maybe not exactly what he's doing, because, of course, he might want to keep that to himself, but or keep other people from trying it. But um, basically, get an overview of you know what type of information he's dealing with, what he's doing, what the outcome is, 
and possibly show it to the public to see if they like it at all. All right, and that winds into an earlier call. Thank you. Uh, we, we, we'll give Michael's number one more time here. You're going to be on the phone a lot, Michael. Uh, Michael, are you take, are you know, the guy asked, are you taking notes? I mean, are there any notes so that if you stepped into the gap and turned into a French fry, that people could read and see where you went wrong, maybe? <laughs> uh, yeah, overall, uh, like, like a general, I uh, like writing down every little thing, but I'm like keeping the general idea down. Okay. Um, oh, we've got so many calls. East of the Rockies, where are you calling from, please? Here in uh, Kansas City. Kansas City. Yes, Good sir. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Mark, uh, just as north of me in uh, St. Joseph, I'm down here in Independence. That's right. And, uh, by the way, I have to echo the last caller. It's a refreshing difference from the stock market report. There you go. For which we have no control. Mark, I need to ask you something. It's Michael. Michael, rather. Michael? Yeah. When you uh, approach the day when you build the quote-unquote arc of triumph, <laughs> give me a call because I want to make sure I plug in my surge suppressor first, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Love uh, you guys. All right, thank you. Uh, so he's, he's worried about uh, the appliances there in Kansas City. Is there a way you can somehow protect the local area of the power grid that next time you do this, uh, Michael? Uh, well, um, I can, like, uh, uh, have the power company, like, put a bigger transfer on the pole. That way I won't overload it. That's an idea. Yeah. From now on, I bet anybody in the Kansas City area, when they see their lights dim, they're going to wonder if you just jumped across. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, west of the Rockies, you're on the air with Michael Markham. Yes. I would like to know if your guest has uh, great knowledge of time travel. Great knowledge of time travel? Yes. Do you uh, have great knowledge of time travel, Michael? Uh, great knowledge? Uh, 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 Some knowledge. Yeah. General Some. idea, but... Like down to the nitty gritty, and just like that's what I'm doing now. I mean, after all, nobody has real publishable knowledge of time travel. We're off into an area here that just isn't much known. Well, yeah, it's like right now, it's like treated as the same thing as UFOs and stuff like that. Sure, sure, absolutely. A wild card line, uh, real quickly, with Michael Markham. Hello. Hi, Mike, uh, and Art, this is fantastic. <laughs> uh, uh, Mike, uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Uh, do you. Have you ever listened to the Art Bell show before? Uh, well, okay, I just want to let you know that there's nothing but a bunch of wackos out here that listen to Art Bell all the time. And we really appreciate uh, a guy like you. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me say this. Gee, do, do me some more favors, sir. <laughs> uh, let me say this. Uh, Mike, there was a, there was a guy...